Okay, so... <clears throat> it's difficult to put this into words because, you know, I know things now that I didn't know then. So it's like, I'm going to explain to you now, like, oh, this is how I felt, or this is what I was thinking, or whatever. But, like, now I can, like, just tell you what I was thinking and what I felt. But before, I couldn't tell you what, I mean, at the moment, I'd be like, I'm looking for something. What are you looking for? I don't know. I'll know it when I see it, right? So, this is, um... This is an important delineation. It's like you know it when you see it. Like you know exactly who it is. When you see that person, that's your person. Like you know exactly who that person is. You know, and like when that, that song or that music, you hear it, you're like, I know what that is. And so it's like I was looking for the Cacophony Society. Now how the hell do you know that you're looking for the Cacophony Society? Like how do you know? No, I'm looking for this group of people that are going to blow my head open and like change the way I think about reality. Like how, how do you say that? At the time, you can't. You're just like, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of like not like this. And I'm not like that. And I'm not one of those. And I'm not one of these other things and stuff. It's a true fact that I... And I don't know how to say this in any other way, and it's gonna sound totally stupid, I'm just gonna say it. If I hadn't found the Cacophony Society, I would have started the Cacophony Society. And that's kind of, it's a weird thing to say now, looking back in hindsight is 2020. And I met a bunch of other people who said the same exact thing, like Michael Gump and other people like this, that, that if they hadn't found the group that was started, they would have started the group. Like we joined the group, but that wasn't the point. The point was being part of that group, that at any cost. I'm, I'm, it didn't matter how long it took or who or where we had to go. We literally moving around the country, going from, you know, I, I moved from New York, I went to San Francisco, I was in San Francisco, I tried to join SRL, and it was a bunch of egomaniac, fucking womanizing douchebags. I hated it, you know? So I like moved to LA, I was like, you know, okay, well, the, where's the fringe and stuff? And I, there it was. And I, I found the thing that I was, literally, it was exactly the way I imagined it. I couldn't have designed it or built it any more perfectly fucked up than it than it, than it than it was. It was a, and it's a weird thing to say because it sounds like oh well, you know you're projecting or whatever. So, but that's that's kind of the truth. I was I was actively looking for my for my people for my community or whatever. I hate that word. Um, but uh, that's kind of yeah. So I mean. That's the synopsis. If I hadn't have found the Cacophony Society, I would have started my own Cacophony Society and I would have beaten this Cacophony Society up probably because mine would have been better.